All right, let's start by talking about the self-ionization of water. Okay, so this is when um, water breaks into um, hydrogen and hydroxide, and then the hydrogen collides with a water molecule, and then you get the hydroxide and then hydronium. Okay, well, at 25 degrees uh, Celsius, we know that the hydronium ion concentration is equal to the hydroxide ion concentration, and it's 1 times 10 to the negative uh, seventh. This Kw um, that we find, which is the equilibrium constant that describes the equation ab above for um, the ionization of water, is Kw equal H3O plus, which is hydronium, and then you have the hydroxide, okay? So we don't count the waters because they're liquid, but the hydronium and the hydroxide are aqueous, so we do count those, okay? So we just have the products, basically. And we know that their concentrations are 1 times 10 to the negative 7th, so when we plug that in, we know that the um, value for the equilibrium constant for the equation above is 1 times 10 to the negative 14th. Okay, so that's your equilibrium constant K for the self-ionization of water. This will allow us to calculate between units in just a minute. It becomes very important in the pH scale. Alright, so we use pH to quantify the hydrogen ion activity. The pH scale usually runs from 0 to 14. Okay, so you see up here at zero, and in the lower numbers, we have um, acids, okay, and the lower the number, the more acidic you are, and then the higher the number, the more basic something is. Now, neutral is going to be a pH of seven. Now, seven did have something to do um, with our concentrations from KW just a second ago, but we'll talk about that a little more. All right, now just do note that if you have a very strong concentrated acid or base, you can have a pH that is above 14 or below zero, making it a negative pH, so that is possible. All right, so a little more about the pH scale. The pH scale is based on the hydronium ion concentration and it is also base 10 logarithmic, meaning that for every one point change in pH, the actual concentration changes by a factor of 10. So for example, a solution of pH 6 is 10 times more acidic than a solution of pH 7. A solution of pH 8 is 10 times less acidic than a, P a solution of pH 7. Okay, so here again, you see the concentration of the uh, hydrogen or hydronium ion, which was 1 times 10 to the negative 7th um, when we looked before. And so you see that that's going to be our neutral pH. And then the uh, more and more and more and more and more hydrogen ions you get, the more and more acidic you get, then the lower the pH becomes, and the less you get the more basic it becomes, or the less acidic. Okay, all right, there are several ways for us to calculate and get between units. So calculating pH and pOH. So pH is the negative log of the hydronium ion concentration, and pOH is the negative log of the hydroxide ion concentration. The pH plus the pOH is equal to 14. And the hydronium ion concentration, you can find that by um, doing 10 to the negative pH. That's how you would undo the pH cal calculation up here. Okay, and then likewise for the hydroxide ion concentration, you could just raise the uh, negative pOH, raise that, or 10 raised to the negative pOH. There you go. All right, so a little more on pOH. pOH is basically the opposite of pH. It's the measure of the OH 
um, activity or the hydroxide ion activity. It is complementary to the pH scale, so equal and opposite kind of thing. And don't forget the pH plus pOH is equal to 14. Okay, so basically here's our pH scale. So here is basic, and then down here lower numbers are acidic. And then here is our pOH scale, and we see that big numbers are acidic and little numbers are basic, okay? So they're complementary. All right, so we need to determine the missing values here, and then we're going to say if it's a acid or a base. All right, so we are going to start with this one. So we have pH, and we know that pH plus pOH equals 14. So that'd be 3.25 plus pOH equal 14. So subtract, so pOH is 10.74. Okay, now we also know um, we can get the H plus from the pH. So H plus concentration is equal to 10 to the negative pH. So if we just plug in negative uh, 3.25 here, so 10 to the negative 3.25, we get 5.5 times 10 to the negative fourth. All right, and then if we do hydroxide concentration would we'll do 10 to the negative pOH so we're going to do 10 to the negative 10.74 and that's going to give us our concentration of 1.8 times 10 to the negative 11th alright and the pH is 3 anything below uh, 7 is acidic so this is an acidic um, solution or system all right, now we have the hydrogen ion concentration in the second one. And we know that the pH is equal to the negative log of the hydrogen ion concentration. So if we plug in negative log of 2.5 times 10 to the negative second, that gives us our pH of 1.59. Uh, we also know pH plus pOH is equal to 14. So pH is 1.59, so if we subtract it, we'll get our pOH. So pOH is 12.41. <clears throat> and then if we do um, 10 to the negative pOH, that'll give us our hydroxide ion concentration. So 10 to the negative 12.41 gives us... 3.89 times 10 to the negative 13th. Our pH is 1.59, which is even more acidic than the first one. Okay. All right, lastly, we have just the hydroxide concentration. So we know that we can get the pOH. So pOH equals the negative log of the hydroxide concentration. So we plug in negative log of 7.1 times 10 to the negative fifth, and we get our pOH, which is 4.15. And then don't forget that pH plus pOH is equal to 14. So if we know our pOH is 4.15, 14 minus that will give us our pH of 9.85. And then to get our um, hydrogen ion concentration, we can do 10 to the negative pH, and that'll give us that. So we'll do 10 to the negative 9.85, and that gives us 1.41 times 10 to the negative 10th. All right, our pH is 9.85, so that's above 7, which means that we are basic. We have more hydroxide ions than we do um, hydrogen ions. And then when we're acidic, you see we have the inverse. We have more hydrogen ions than hydroxide ions.